If you want to create a business intelligence board as a developer, evidence.dev is a great choice. Yeah, so actually we are developers, right? But we are also business owners. And sometimes we need to find a way to visualize data, to do like business intelligence, to create dashboards, to visualize something that we might not see otherwise if we just had the uh, raw data, right? And we've always been trying out different tools and using different services, paying for tools that let you create dashboards through their own UI with their own query language or own like custom way to build these dashboards or widgets or whatever. And we were in the need for something like that again a while ago. We stumbled upon a tool called Evident or Evidence dev and this titles itself as business intelligence as code and what you can do with it is you write markdown files so that's something most developers or web developers at least are familiar with and you can write your sql queries directly in the markup and also use like mdx like or in this case, it's like Swelt components right in your markdown and have it render like these beautiful graphs that are then um, created with a library by or an Apache library, eCharts it's called. So it's like a really powerful library. You can do a lot of things with it. And yeah, this is a, a tool that we really like so far. And we have made some like some good experience with that, right? Absolutely. What I really like about this approach is just that it feels like uh, I'm not locked into their approach. What do I mean? Like we have used business analytics intelligence tools before, so like these dashboard tools, where then you get a custom interface where you can drag and drop certain widgets. And then many times you have to either use their own query language or data connectors and stuff like that to create these charts. And if you want to move somewhere else with that data and with those uh, visualizations, that's really hard, if not impossible. I think we we create, once created like a huge dashboard for our company. And when we, when we moved away from, from this tool, we basically lost all of that stuff that we created. With evidence, that's simply not the case because you are writing MySQL queries or other queries like in other languages and can directly work with the tools and you just create kind of definitions in Markdown and so on. And this, this feels like much more portable. And so I had an easier time signing up to this approach. At the same time, it's also open source, which is great. Very much looking forward to their additional services in the future. But yeah, I, I didn't find much bad to say about this and was just like super excited about this. Yeah. Totally. And uh, if we look uh, on their website, they have a lot of uh, examples here as well, like live apps and code for uh, different dashboards that you can have. And for example, this like internal KPI portal where you see, okay, you have like these numbers with like trends, you have graphs, but you can also have links. So this looks a little bit like Notion, right? So um, it's like a real markdown file that you can also link pages from one page to, to the other. Also like even use like these uh, or link elements of your graphs to other pages pages and so on. So this is quite powerful. It is not real time, right? So it is not that your this dashboard has a direct connection to your database, but you have to run a build step at which um, it just creates a statically rendered site and then you can deploy that somewhere. While on the one hand, this is maybe bad if you want real time data, it's usually pretty nice to have that because then once you know that your site has been built with the queries, you are not like uh, causing stress on the database anymore. And you know that the queries are just working, right? This is also uh, pretty nice. Maybe for linking, we can show this example, this weekly business. So they have like this data table here. And then in here, they link these rows of the table to other documents where you can then also use like the URL params for manipulating or adjusting the queries based on the data that is in the params, right? So that is pretty cool and pretty nice. And we are really happy so far. Uh, in the docs, you can see also like component reference. Here you can see a list of all the components. And as I said, it's based on eCharts. And there's also like a component where you can have a custom eChart and then you just write a little bit of JavaScript or like some configuration arrays also directly in your markdown. So uh, that's also pretty nice. You said there's not a lot or there's nothing that we really don't like about it, right? There's one downside if you have like multiple data sources. Currently, you can only connect via one data source. And these are currently the, the supported uh, um, data sources. So we have BigQuery, Snowflake, Redshift, Postgres, QR, Post. So 
you know we're German. <laughs> we don't really know how to pronounce all of that. Uh, Postgres QL, right? A Microsoft uh, SQL Server, MySQL, SQLite, DuckDB, and CSV and Parquet files. That's currently what they support. They have, however, a next branch where they have a new adapter where you can combine any of these data connectors. So that will be actually for people who do a lot of BI and who need multiple data sources, this will then be the way to go. We also found out about DuckDB right here. So maybe we'll have another podcast or session about uh, DuckDB because that's also a really nice database, a memory database that you can use to perform uh, analytical queries on large data sets. So what about building? Maybe we can we can say a little bit about that as well. Um, so we, as I said, it's not real time. You have to statically build it. So we integrated the build process onto our CI CD server, and we just do like a daily or like four builds daily, like every six hours. We just uh, um, build a new static version of this page and then push it to a static web server, and then uh, can view our reports there in the browser. Should we look at some code? Sure. So yeah, if we look uh, at some of the examples, this is one of their example from uh, the homepage where you also have like the code uh, linked. It's basically behind the surface, it's Svelte kit where you can just have like a, a pages directory. And in these pages, you define like your URLs, your endpoints kind of. And in here you can directly by just saying, like defining uh, something as a code block, either like this or like, like this uh, to get more syntax highlighting. This is what we do usually. And then you just define the, the queries in here here. And if you then search for daily KPIs, you can see, for example, you can also nest or uh, combine these queries and then use this directly in Markdown, either here as a text field, or you can use it here inside of these charts in the data attribute. Yeah. And that's basically is there are dynamic routes, as I said, for like dates, you can use like the uh, page params object for that to access these and use those in the queries as well. So that's really some powerful stuff that you can do with it. Yeah, I personally also like just the pure ability to add static things to these analytic pages, right? For example, for uh, our VRTs tool, we created this dashboard where I then inserted manually the release dates and release versions, which were then added to the graphs. So we would know what kind of effect a feature a change uh, might have had on the churn rate, for example. So and as it's so easy to to update these markdown files over time it doesn't have to be this one time static perfect dashboard but you can develop it over time you can add data you can add notes and so on by just like committing to the markdown file i i think that's makes it so portable kind of and easy to use yeah usually you're caught like in these widgets and then you have like okay i create a new widget here and then here and and these are more like reports and it's html or like with markdown it's html but you can write anything in, in markdown that you would in an html page right so that's really really powerful and yeah yeah however it's not meant to be used as an analytics dashboard right like you're not meant to be using data analytics from google analytics or stuff like that to then create your custom dashboard it's meant for rather yeah business intelligence where you query a database in regards to your a data lake whatever like where you have all your product data stored uh, your customer signups and stuff like that that's what it's meant for i'm not even sure there are connectors to connect that to google analytics and stuff like that maybe there are most likely there at least companies or startups who do that i'd be very interested in learning about those if you know any of these tools to load data from let's say google analytics via a connector to query it like with mysql or similarly let us know in the comments down below <laughs> <laughs>